Odato Si Chapter 6 Ecological Education and Spirituality As never before in history, common destiny beckons us to seek a new beginning. The external deserts in the world are growing because the internal deserts have become so vast. When people become self-centered and self-enclosed, their greed increases. The emptier a person's heart is, the more he or she needs things to buy, own and consume. The market tends to promote extreme consumerism in an effort to sell its products and people easily get caught up in a whirlwind of needless buying and spending. Many people know that our current progress and a mere amassing of things and pleasures are not enough to give meaning and joy to the human heart. A person who could afford to spend and consume more but regularly uses less shows the attitudes which help to protect the environment. What we need is an ecological conversion whereby the effects of our encounter with Jesus Christ become evident in our relationship with the world around us. Christian spirituality proposes moderation and the capacity to be happy with little. It is a return to that simplicity which allows us to stop and appreciate the small things to be grateful for the opportunities which life affords us, to be spiritually detached from what we possess and not to succumb to sadness for what we lack. Care for nature is part of a lifestyle which includes the capacity for living together and communion. Jesus reminded us that we have God as our common Father and that this makes us brothers and sisters. The universe unfolds in God who fills it completely. Hence, there is a mystical meaning to be found in a leaf, in a mountain trail, in a dewdrop, in a poor person's face. It is in the Eucharist that all that has been created finds its greatest exaltation. In the Eucharist, fullness is already achieved. It is the living center of the universe, the overflowing core of love and of inexhaustible life. Joined to the incarnate Son present in the Eucharist, the whole cosmos gives thanks to God. Let us sing as we go. May our struggles and our concern for this planet never take away the joy of our hope. Everything is connected.